The sporting and political world are mourning the loss of former Carlton boss John Elliott, who's died at the age of 79. He was former Collingwood president Eddie Maguire speaking on Today moments ago. John, who was such a corporate titan, an amazing intellect, uh, great at pulling deals together, who helped rebuild Melbourne as the Committee of Melbourne in the 80s when it was a rust bucket, who helped to form the AFL and took it from being a provincial uh, you know, game and turned it into the national competition that it is today. For more, we're joined by Nine's Tony Jones. TJ, uh, a massive loss of a big life, wasn't it? Well, a big life, and uh, the term you'll hear uh, umpteen times today is larger than life, and that's exactly what John Elliott was. And very few Australians have actually had a finger in so many pies as what John Elliott did, whether it be politics, whether it be business, or whether it be sport. And uh, as president of the Carlton Football Club for 20 years, he oversaw two premierships uh, uh, in his role as Elders IXL boss. Uh, he took over Carlton in United Breweries and took Fosters to the world. No one in Australia wanted to drink it, but people in the world did, and it was a, a, an amazing marketing masterstroke by John Elliott. And we should never, ever forget also that this man came very close to being Prime Minister of Australia. That was the plan back in the 80s. Now, he was to have been parachuted into the Victorian seat of Higgins, which at the time was, <coughs> pardon me, uh, held by Roger Shipton. Uh, John Elliott tells the story that Roger Shipton uh, wouldn't budge and therefore John Elliott actually couldn't get that seat in Parliament. <coughs> Excuse me such a hay fever this morning. Um, so therefore Peter Costello went on to actually take the seat of Higgins and John Elliott had to be content with being the federal Liberal Party president. So an amazing life from uh, an amazing man who was also uh, a favourite for not only uh, newspaper cartoonists but also television satirists uh, like we saw in the old fast forward days with that infamous catch cry of uh, well, let's say it, shall we? Pig's ass. And uh, John Elliott was at pains over the years. He was at pains over the years to say, I never said it. I've never said it in my life. And uh, in uh, one of the last interviews that we actually did with John Elliott, he was again at pains to say, I've never used that phrase in my life. So he was, uh, he was a charmer. He was a bit of a comedian, yeah. uh, but he was also very, very controversial. And when obituaries are uh, written about John Elliott, none of that can be shied away from. OK, um, look, it was a wonderful life, and I love um, to all of his family this morning. Uh, he loved his footy, didn't he? Um, and it's a bit of sweet, I guess, going to the grand final tomorrow in Perth. But still, it's going to be a massive day for Melbourne tomorrow, isn't it? Oh, absolutely it will be, and we do embrace it. I mean, Carl, let's not forget, it is a public holiday in Melbourne today. It is the Grand Final Eve public holiday. Well done. <laughs> what other city in the world would actually have a public holiday on the eve of an event we don't bloody have? It is quite unbelievable. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking the pee here, but we've got two peas at our disposal. We can either protest today or we can go and have a picnic. Either way, we've got the day off, and that's what we need in Victoria another day at home. <laughs> <laughs> You're a legend, TJ. Uh, I love you. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Ali? Which one's he going to do, protest or picnic? <laughs> well, let's go now to Perth, which is gearing up to host an historic grand final. Nines, Brittany Hoskins is at Optus Stadium for us. Brittany, can you feel the excitement yet? Is it in the air? Well, still a little bit early and while we may not have the public holiday, things are ramping up here this morning. First with the Bulldogs and the Demons having their final training session here at Optus Stadium. Around 25,000 fans can attend that training session. Also today, Perth City's People's Parade with fans invited to march down Murray Street Mall led by a brass band. All this going ahead despite a COVID scare earlier this week after a truck driver who had been in WA tested positive. Premier Mark McGowan confident it's all going to go off without a hitch, even going as far as to say it will be the best grand final ever. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if that's a correct assumption. <laughs> Time will tell. Thanks, Brittany.